everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today we've got Dan on the channel who's a free handicap subscriber and we're going to be answering the question, what is the difference between a golf club professional, so that's your club pro, and a low handicap golfer? Because I get asked that question a lot, it's a question I'm asked a lot is, you know, what, what level did you turn, you know, pro off guys? And uh, we're going to answer that question today to see if there's any difference, or, or you guys can answer that question, between a low handicap golfer like Dan who's off free and a club pro like myself who teaches. There's no sh there's no shots in these free holes. That's all right, uh, mate, I don't mind. Just double check. It's all right, I'll, I'll, I'll pay off scratch, I don't mind. I didn't mean to do it that way. These aren't next challenge. You tell me anything. <laughs> so Dan's off free, he hasn't got any shots in these free holes, it's, so he's going to be playing off scratch. And we're opening up on a par five. <clears throat> well, it's a good start for Dan. It's straight down middle. Makes a change. How did it feel on camera, by the way? Because that, that, that felt all right. One of, one of questions you said, or one of the things you said to me, is that I don't know what it's going to be like hitting a ball on camera. Yeah, but it's one of them. You always have a. Uh, preemptions don't you about I'm, it i'm guessing you play quite a bit of golf in front of people aren't you you know obviously yeah i've played a few argo matches and stuff like that oh i pulled it bad so I've pretty much used all my three minutes to find this one. We were laughing there, weren't we, uh, Dan, saying we pretty much could have answered the question in one earlier. But uh, see if we get this back in play and, and make something out of it. It's not lying very well. It's a little, I wouldn't say it's plugged, but it's sat down a lot. Let's be careful here with this treat. Shall we get it out? Oh, yeah, well, great guess. contact, but all right. You can start that bunker. Come on, get out, really. Damn! How far you got in? Two forty-six to the pin. Yeah. I don't know what to do now. Two forty-six. Say we're placing on the fairway, yeah. Yeah, we're cleaning and placing still, guys. It's uh, it's still March as we're recording. And uh, of course, he's coming along nicely, though. I don't think it'll be long before we're on summer rules. Yeah, it looks nice. May as well go, aren't we? YouTube golf. <laughs> Normal <laughs> golf, this is. Normal golf. Probably be nowhere near now. Great shot. Now that is fantastic. It, I don't Cheers. know if it's long enough, but it's bang on it's line. line it's, yeah. it's right on line with flag. I've seen it bounce, but I don't know, we'll see. That's luck, that is. <laughs> oh. So I feel like I've got some responsibility here, Dan, to, to try and half this all for for all club pros at UK. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the pros. Struggling to pick up a distance here. Yeah, yeah mine, mine's doing that. Just a little bit cloudy, isn't it? You got one. I might have to just go with the fact that it's similar to yours, won't it? Two, that's 211. What we got in, it's about 240-ish. Yeah, I've got 240. Right. It's going to be, it's going to have to be a little free wood I think, or a, a cutty free wood. I wish I'd got that, I've just done a review on a hybrid club, a Cleveland oh, hybrid. Yeah. I would have used that if I'd got it in bag. I'll just swap mine out to be honest. Are we cleaning and placing it seven? If you want to mate, yeah. Same for both of us isn't it, so. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's straight at it. Great as well. strike. Get down. I'm just hoping it's not too long. Oh, it's up top of that bank. So I can't believe how hot that come out. 240 yards to middle at green. It must have gone 260. That's where I could do with that little hybrid shot. I mean, I didn't fancy my free iron there. And I think uh, if I'd have got an hybrid, I would have would have played that. Try to grip down freewood instead. So back against door, guys. Sit. Right. Sit. Good shot, mate. It's not good enough, that guy. Nicely played. For an eagle. On the green in two. I think if he gets this one close, it's one down. Means this in, though. Oh, it's uh, it's not it's not a gimme, I'm afraid. It's not in the friendship ring. So this could be quite a big put in the game, I think, early on. One that I've got to give a chance. I fancy you for this, to be honest. What I tend to do, me, I tend to walk into them from this side. You know, I think sometimes you get a feel for your put then. Get a feel for length for it and a little look. Just comes off that left side. Just a tad. No, God. Birdie four. Jesus. Well done. One up to Dan. Beginners look that. So one down against a low handicap golfer. You might be thinking, what tactics am I going to use? Well, I'm going to play my own game. I'm going to try and play scratch golf. You know, Dan's off free, so obviously he's not a. He does make mistakes. He is only human, and uh, you know that's what you got to do. You just got to keep playing your game, and uh, and not try to sort of play catch up. I think I'll let two iron. I think. This is smart golf from Dan. He's got his one up lead and he's going to try and hang on to it. That's isn't it. it. Might not work, but we'll give it a go. Good strike. I'll take it. I forgot to tell you about that ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I'd probably do the same, to be honest. Stay there. Should be okay, I think, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's all right. So another T stray shot, and that just shows you how fragile golf can be because I've played some of my best golf recently and uh, turned up today and I just don't know where it's all gone. This is going to be a, a tough one to rescue. I've got 100 yards and I've got a bit of a tree to navigate over. Probably need to be landing it about 70 yards and not much of a backswing, so it's going to be a difficult one. See if I can rescue something. I do think, though, as a low handicap golfer, it's something you have to be good at. You have to be good at getting yourself out of situations without, you know, without making double bogeys. Trying to just, if you can, rescue a par or at worst, you know, bogey. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome from where I were. Well, I, it's actually gone back at green, but to get that up there, we're, uh, we know backswing weren't bad. Great strike. I thought you got in. Well, 87 to the flag. I'm just going to try and hit a little 54, to be honest. Seeing your shoot on a little bit, so.
lovely strike. Fantastic shot. I'll take it. Thank you. So you'll just see Dan's ball here. He's got another birdie put. I think um, it just shows you how you know close low handicap golfers are to making a career out of game, doesn't it? For once, a career, Gary. Well, you know, I teach for a living. I love my job. Never going to be a playing pro, but there's still a living to be made. got to be good. Get in. Ooh. What a great effort. It's good for me. I always think that's the difference between sort of low handicappers and sort of mid handicappers is a long putting isn't it great putt that is guys that was a very long putt quite a lot of break on that as well i need a favor off dan here he's just bought this putter as well fully <laughs> custom fitted For first putter he's ever had custom fitted he should be knocking these in what you four down yeah a bit of mind warfare <laughs> <laughs> Could work as well. If I just two put this, I'll, I'll be happy. Robinson tactics. Unlucky. It's a crazy edge. And it is a bit of banter, guys. If we had a card in the Zam, there's no way that I'd be, be here playing about with with that like that. Just. Uh, I wouldn't mind. Get in the comments, guys. What what would Dan do here? Should he put the heat on? Should he try and win the match? Go all out, close the match off so I can't win? Or should he just play sensible, make his four and try and make me win the hole? What are you thinking? I think I'm going to get big dog. He's going big dog. Probably could go anywhere, but we'll have a go. He's going big dog. He's forcing the situation. I like to see it. Put the pressure on. Is it a great shot? I'll tell you what. I'll tell it's you a that. lovely shot. You've hit it beautiful, but you've not missed it in a great place there. Oh, now you see. There's a little pot bunker, <laughs> and it, it looks like pins tucked in behind it, so you've missed it on the wrong side. But you've done enough to make me have a rip at it. Have a rip at it, yeah. And if you, well, you saw it first of all, it weren't good, were it? So. Come on, get Could be a huge shot shape in here now. I know, I need to think about it. I felt like I stood over at ball too long on that first hole. Oh yes, I've hit it. He's following me. <laughs> that could be past the bunker, I think. Because I hit the same drive against Chris last week. Did you? Yeah, it's gone up there, that has. Hopefully it's not too long. That's the difference in shape, that, isn't it? You hit the draw, I've hit the fade. Yeah. And that's a sign of a good player. Somebody always goes and have a look at the landing area. Sign of a nervous of player. out and where they want to land it. And it could be red face if it goes in this bunker after all this preparation. But <laughs> you've got to go through a process, haven't you, Dan? You have to see the shot, don't you? You can't always execute it right, but you've got to go through a good process and, you know, picture what you're going to do. I've just, I've just got to make four. You've got to make four. Make four and make you make the birdie. I think that sprinkler edge right where I want to land it.
Right. Bit on the conservative side, that. And what he doesn't know yet is that's not an easy tool put. What are you thinking? But to judge, uh, it's going to have to be something low. I'm just going to try and get running down there. Probably just off that, you know, that left hand cut. You're going all out for a three? <laughs> well, it's got to be a three, I'm afraid. Sorry, guys, if I'm. We've got no one behind us here. We're not in any rush, but. Just going to go nine iron, actually. Make sure I get the ball rolling. I think I'm going to play it off that little that little cutter apron and let it just come in from left. Come on, come on. It's not bad. Oh, you know what? I don't think you could have played that much better. A little bit of moisture on green. It worked perfect line. It's a great shot. You can tell how seriously we're taking it, guys. But I also feel like I might need to hold this. Well. I've seen you knock them in on your channel previously. I've given myself a chance. I don't know whether I'm going to take it. I'm going to try. I don't want to lose. <laughs> if you're enjoying this vlog, guys, we're going to be doing a little bit of fun on the uh, next trials. We're going to be switching clubs. And we're going to be answering the question is, how important is it for a, a low handicapper to have fitter clubs? Because, or any golfer, because a lot of people said to me, it doesn't matter what club you use, guys. You're a pro. You can hit anything. Well, we're going to we're going to put that to the test. So we're going to switch clubs. And knit it. Oh, there's a lot of meat on that. There's a lot of meat on that, Dan. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a give -y. It's not ideal, is it? To get an half out of this match would be criminal. It'd be an absolute get out of jail after the way I've uh, acted around. But like Dan just said, that is golf sometimes. And it, I, you know what? I'm going to say it again. I think it definitely splits the handicappers and the, and the low handicappers. Is when you can make a score out of yeah. nothing. That's the beauty of match play as well, though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, a chance to get that level here. I'm not going to lie, guys, I fancy you. For the putter, I mean. <laughs> no. Oof. Take it away. No. So this is it. Do you want it um, in or out? Better leave it in, haven't we? I was kind of hoping it was in the Bryson putter length, but. <laughs> well, you need one of them sick putters. <clears throat> I must admit, if there's any weakness in my game, it's this. Well played. The best man has won. The best man on the day the has won. Right? Well Cheers, played, Dan. Cheers, mate. Appreciate Enjoyed it. That. We're going to have another that. vlog. And I think that pretty much answers the question. You know, there's not much difference between club pros and low handicappers. You know, I don't think there's much in it. I think if I was to play regular golf and, yeah, you know, yeah. Dan were to play more regular golf, we'd have some great games. Yeah. Um, you know, but you can still make a career out of golf. You know, yeah. even as a low handicapper, if you fancy getting into teaching, do it PGA, you know, custom fitting there's plenty of, yeah, of there ways is. for low handicappers to get into golf and make a career out of it without actually playing and that's something that i've done you know something one of my friends james has done we never intend on being players we just want to make a career yeah. out of a game we loved i think it's something that everybody would like to do as a golfer definitely it's just having the opportunity to do it i think so if you've enjoyed that one we're going to be switching clubs now dan's standard length i'm half a inch longer and we're going to be showing you know what how we're going to perform with, it, with clubs that aren't made for us yeah. You know, and see what difference it makes to his game in another free old vlog where I'm seeking revenge. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you are. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. We'll see you in a few days' time. Bye.